Watch Underscore Dogs 2, the not-so-critically acclaimed sequel that fixed almost everything its predecessor did wrong. Almost everything. Regardless, it is still a fun game, but money can sometimes be difficult to come by. Whether you're looking to buy a fresh new gun, or a new sporty car from one of the auto dealers, there are plenty of options to make bank in Watch Dogs 2. Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Pitsgate, and welcome to the top four ways to make bank easy in Watch Dogs 2. Keep in mind that these are not listed in any specific order. There are going to be situations where number four beats out number one, and of course vice versa. But without further ado, let's get right into the top four. Now, coming in at the number four spot, we have just little free-roaming shenanigans. You can hack into certain NPCs' bank accounts and wire money to you, and you can even research and upgrade in the Slash Research application to highlight specific people with a lot of zeros in their bank account and grab an even bigger chunk of cash. Now, it's not just chump change that you can get from the NPCs, but you can also go into your maps after you explore the city for a bit, and you'll notice these blue little pop-ups that are like money bags and you can also find other pop-ups that contain like you know aesthetics and other stuff but we're going to be focusing on the money bags now these money bags pop up everywhere around the map and you can just go into there some of them are in a restricted area some of them are in an unaccessible area and require you to use the jumper but the, for the ones that are in the restricted area all you have to do is just you know go in there have a quick shootout or you know hack some objects and eliminate everybody there you grab the money bag and escape your pursuers, and you can get a pretty sizable chunk of change just from doing that. I myself got 19,000 in just under two minutes by just running in there, grabbing the money bag, and just escaping my pursuers as fast as I possibly could. Also, while you're free roaming the streets of Watch Dogs 2, every single time you get into a car, every single time you hijack a car, you're going to notice this little text pop up in the top right that says Glove Vox Looted. Now this is going to happen every single time you get into a car, and every single thing that you loot, no matter what it may be, can be sold at a pawn shop for a small amount of cash. Now I'm talking like very, very small, but the thing is, as you continue to play, and as you continue to get into more cars, and as you continue to hijack more cars, the value just keeps on adding up and up and up and up. So just, you know, if you need just a little bit, just a couple more extra thousand to get that new gun or something, just, you know, go to a pawn shop and sell everything that you've looted out of glove boxes. I remember one time I got about $20,000, just by playing the game for a couple hours. It was actually really cool because, you know, making that money didn't require me to go out of my way or didn't require me to, you know, do like a mission or something. It was just me playing the game, just free roaming and messing around. So it's just, it's a really cool way to make just a few dollars. Don't expect to get too much, but check back every once in a while at the pawn shop. You can also refill your ammunition there, but you know, it's more focused around just selling everything you looted. Now coming in at the number three spot, we have the phone application side missions. Upon entering the game, you are forced to download Noodle Maps, but if you notice in the app shop that there are also other apps, such as Driver SF and Scout X. Now in my experience, Scout X isn't very reliable. It likes to just, you know, point out locations, and sometimes, you know, the NPCs that take a photo of aren't there. So I'm going to be primarily focusing on Driver SF or Driver San Francisco. Driver SF is basically Watchdog's take on Uber, and it contains a lot of unique taxi style missions that are memorable and they pay out a couple grand for each of them. They're actually a good deal of fun and so far with all of the taxi missions, the way that they've ended, how they are, they're pretty memorable and I have personally really enjoyed just doing those little quick taxi missions and getting a couple thousand in the process. Hi there. You didn't give an exact destination. Sorry? Oh, wait. Uh, let me activate my translator. English? Parking visits with vehicle. Parking lot? Uh, okay. Where are you from? I'm going Let me guess. Not here. English. Garden Park. English. Idiot. English. Immovable properties. That's right. Garden parks are um immovable. 
唔错，不过唔系、哦，有运动设施嘅公园啊，唔该开快啲啊！有運動設施嘅公園啊 ！English competition, English park, competition park, oh sports stadium. You're a sports fan? 我打算喺運動公園隔離起棟大型嘅住宅大廈。English construct. 勁賺錢。English wealth. Ah, construct wealth. Yeah, you're in real estate. 終於到啦，睇唔睇到嗰個公園啊？算係搶手嘅地產物業啊 ！English Park, hot piece. Uh, thanks. Hacking cars to trick him into thinking that I was in there, and just trying to avoid him, and just making sure that he doesn't see me. It can be pretty tedious and a little bit stressful. And even though he caught me in this, you know, specific gameplay, I still managed to wreck his car and escape him. And I bagged a couple thousand in the bag, and also got a little bit of followers out of it as well. Now, coming in at the number one spot, we have exploiting. Now, to be fair, there really aren't a lot of needs to make money in this game, other than to just you know buy cosmetics and aesthetics and weapons, and also just because you can. There's no real need for money, but you know it's pretty it's pretty good to have. I mean that in the sense that there's no real need to have money, but you know your guns and your cars do look a lot cooler with cosmetics and paint jobs and you know all that sort of cool stuff. That costs extra money. Now, this is by far the fastest and the easiest way to make bank in Watch Dogs 2. As you progress through the main story, you know around the later half of it, you'll notice that there's going to be a main story mission called Eye for an Eye. Now, I'm just going to throw up some background gameplay of the mission, but I'm not going to get into the specifics of the glitch. But there are multiple videos on YouTube about the glitch and the glitch specifically, so just a very quick YouTube search can get a tutorial for you in just absolutely no time. And by judging the videos that I've seen, I would say the payout is about nineteen thousand every few minutes or so. It's really effective, but my only like gripe with it is that one, you can't replay missions if you've already played it, and two, it's just it's not really necessary. With all these other methods, you know you can make bank and it will be a lot more fun. Than without you know exploiting or cheating, and that wraps up this top five. So if these methods helped you guys out in any way, shape, or form, I would really appreciate if you guys smash that like button. I really spent a lot of time researching these, and it would definitely mean a lot to get your guys' feedback. Feel free to voice what you think is the best option or what is the best way to make money in Watch Dogs 2. And as always, you guys stay safe, stay sexy, and stay awesome. It's been Pitsgate, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.